They've been seeing me say, I wanted that that nigga I used to go to school with. This is Cherokee nigga Sherwood, and I ain't go to high school, that's why I do comedy. But anyway, this is that nigga from Cherokee over there on the street. Big girls represent, make some noise. I seen them posing outside, taking pictures and shit. <laughs> ain't no wrong with them. Big girls got some mixed things. Now these days, you got that big shit. What's up, nigga? See? She spoke up, got them. Big girls used to have low self esteem, got them. I know more. She paint her toenails and her fingernails. Get that bitch one of them booty dresses. And she had all them stomachs on. <laughs> she can't tell that wobbling bitch shit. Hey, man. She be walking, she stop her shit, still be moving. Like, hey, bitch, stop walking, I am. Sound like a water bitch. <laughs> fuck, can you ever fuck the fat girl for my nigga? You ain't on top of one of us. Nigga, you be in the urn like a motherfucker, nigga. You be like this and shit. You can't get no sugar her head way down there. You be like, you got to follow her. Look at her. Yeah, no. Nigga, around here burning the girlfriends up. If you want a woman in here, nigga, you scared to let out doors, go check the mailbox, shoot yourself. You's an ignorant, retarded, dumbass nigga. If that bitch fuck with somebody else, let that bitch go. She don't want you, bro. You can't make her want you by setting on fire. Who want a burnt bitch? I don't want to burn no whole whole side of her head burnt. Now you want to get rid of the whole cut of people like, like a burnt marshmallow. Fuck that. Ain't no pussy that motherfucking good. Got them and the bitch sleep on land up there watching the hoe. She went, what you doing? She, is you sleep, bitch? Hell no. I don't know pussy. The motherfucker be stalking that bitch, hiding in the store. She going, I'm going to the store, he get to the, she get to the store, he already there. <laughs> How the fuck got you leave you at your house, nigga? He hopping behind the bread. Bitch, you don't like that type of bread. <laughs> you wonder, bitch. She is stupid. And same for you women, too. That nigga, he, if he ain't at home, I, if, you, if he with you every day, and then either why he stopped coming home, there ain't no sign that he really fucking. You probably bitch too much for Hello? Don't turn your head, hell, for what you said. You ain't got no order, nigga. He ain't said he ain't hit or nothing. Like, you're a shut up, like. Nigga, I'm gonna talk back to that bitch. You can tell the nigga scared his woman. He don't say shit. He's scared of that. And she look at him like, what the fuck, fuck? He almost had me tripping. <laughs> you can tell the nigga stay with his woman because his shit limited. He can't say sir shit. That's that stepdaddy shit. I hate stepkids. I hate them motherfuckers. But they be wanting some structure in their kids' life. You know, be a daddy to my little boy. It's daddy ain't shit. But soon I said, dump the motherfucker got him. Whoa, 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 whoa. I ain't say talk to him like that, nigga. Well, bitch, you gotta talk wrong to a little nigga. You already holding him all the goddamn time and he 15. Put that nigga down. We already let us big home. We don't want to tell you that you're gonna put us out. We ain't got nowhere to go. Come stay with you. Then we gotta tell them the kids and see when they don't do what they want to tell them to do. You gotta call home on job. Why did you keep calling me? I thought you told your son and your daughter to watch this and this shit. But what they doing? They told me to do it. The nigga end up cleaning up the house because the kids like, fuck you, nigga. You gonna wash him anyway. <laughs> they treat the stepdad nigga bad. Am I lying, my niggas, and deal? You better not say shit. You can't say shit. Put your punk ass out till night. Going on your mama house. My mama dead was fine. Dig the bitch up. They talk bad to a nigga. Talk nigga just talking to a nigga like he's still in third grade and shit. Don't have no cop or no job. Oh my God. That bitch talk to you like she had you. Y'all know I ain't lying. She come home, you still got them in your box and draw to mine. Playing a motherfucking game. She'll snatch that motherfucker off the motherfucking wall. I know goddamn hell where you ain't still up in here playing this goddamn game and my son got them out there cutting their yard. Both of y'all get the fuck out. Then <laughs> <laughs> ask nigga, when is he gonna take a bath? 
Cause y'all got them niggas that they was out there. They don't believe in two of them till you met your motherfucking ass. You didn't realize after a couple of fucks, bitch. But some of you bitches nasty too. Uh huh. Oh, that flu on funny, wasn't it? See, y'all don't laugh at the shit when it come to y'all. Cause I, I hate that motherfucking funny. Cause I've actually seen a female get some drawers out the dirt, clothes, and put them back on. <laughs> I did it before too, did it? Oh, I thought I was gonna hit a nerve. Yeah, hey, yeah, some of y'all in here, they don't think that shit funny. You laughing, trying to laugh it off. Well, bitch, you done did it. I ain't woke with no one but to work. But, but how many hours, though, bitch? You'll come home and take them off. I'm gonna put these back. <laughs> I'm gonna put these back on. Man. Hey, that's the bitch. Y'all do some trifling shit. Take your bras and shit off, hang them on the back of bathroom, you know. <laughs> Trifling bitch, but nigga can't say shit cause he live with you. He ain't giving bitch, I know they ain't what that bitch ain't put that in my Hell no. Nah. But he said himself, this bitch nasty little motherfucker, man. But he can't tell you. <laughs> especially that black bra, y'all would that be like two months when you take that bra. Cause you decide. That motherfucker in the washing machine. You'll look at it about 30 minutes and be like, hmm. <laughs> Fuck this shit. I gotta be right back to work in the middle anyway. Hey, see your makeup on? You got your makeup on, nigga? Nigga, we stars, nigga. What the fuck you mean? Shit. Stars get made up, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You act, see? Shit, nigga. We got that Same money, nigga. Comedian AC. Colorado Springs, Colorado, live in Memphis, Tennessee, man, doing my thing. This camera is close as fuck to my face, man. It's scaring the hell out of me, man. I'm scared. Check me out. I'm going to be in here in the post lounge, me, mouthpiece, and some other niggas doing their thing, man. Y'all going to enjoy it. I think I'm the funniest dude on the planet. That's what God told me. I prayed about it. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. They call me AC, man, because I don't like telling people my, my real name, but I'm going to tell y'all my real name tonight, man. And when I tell you... Don't look at me like something wrong with me. I didn't do it. My name is Abanye. <laughs> Abanye. Yeah, I, my parents named me Abanye. I have a Muslim name, but that's not the messed up part. They sent me to Catholic school with a Muslim name. Yes, the first day at school, I'm sitting down because you sit down and you eat breakfast, and the priest comes to sit right next to me, and he asks me, son, are you going to eat the bacon? <laughs> Everybody like, huh? <laughs> Muslims don't eat pork at this thing. <laughs> Could you please turn your phone off? Please. What are you doing, sir? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not gonna mess with you because I talked to you outside. If I hadn't if I didn't know who you were, man, it was gonna be over for you. <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all something that I've never told anybody before in my life. I'm fat. <laughs> about it is like everybody go around like you know like fat people you know like I was like you know what cuz I ain't always been fat I woke up one day I was like man you know what I'm gonna get fat <laughs> that's my motivation that ain't what happened man I didn't decide I was gonna be fat I decided that I was gonna start eating bad and not exercise what that's what the hell I did man but I'm gonna tell you something I did this to myself I did but fat babies fat children that ball is the hell the little Maury Povich babies that bothers the hell out of me, man. But I'm going to tell you something, I don't care because I've made an invention, I have a new company, and I'm going to take advantage of it. I have baby seat, seat belt extenders for fat babies. <laughs> See, man, if you're going to do it to your child, I'm going to do it to you, man. I don't care, man. It's, 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 it's cold when you ain't got this coat on, but it's hot when you're as big as I am. I'm going to tell you something, man. <laughs> I'm loving life, man. Has anybody, uh, has anybody ever pissed on somebody before? <laughs> I'm serious, man. Like anybody has ever, like little boys pee in the bed all the time. I got, I got little boys. Anybody got bed wetters in they, in they family? Bed wetters make some noise. <laughs> Just me. I peed in the bed till I was 13 years old, people. 13, and I got my butt whooped every day for peeing in the bed, man. And I tried to tell my parents, like, I'm just laying in the bed, you know what? I don't even want to get up. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay in here and piss in this bed. <laughs> the scariest thing in the world to me was when I got married, I thought I was gonna piss on my wife. <laughs> and I did. 
I pissed, I pissed all over my wife, and the crazy thing, she didn't wake up. So I got out of bed, and I changed clothes. And I got it back in the bed, and I cussed her ass out. I was like, what is wrong with you? You done peed all in this bed? <laughs> to this day, she thinks she done peed in the bed, baby. You know? I'm serious, man. I love, I, love, I love comedy, man. I love comedy because I get to see people look at me, and, and I don't know why the hell they looking. <laughs> Are you enjoying this, sir? <laughs> Do you know where you are, sir? <laughs> Like, man. <laughs> oh, oh, we're checking now. This, this, see, I told you, I'm not, I'm not from Memphis, so the face ass thing. What is, what is that? Looking ass. What is that? Oh, looking ass. Looking ass. Look at that. Huh? What'd you say? Huh? I don't, I don't understand niggerdom. Say that one more time. She, your girl said, shut up, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, that's, that's cool. Sir, sir, sir. Sir, I just asked you a question. Before, before you get fired up by me and every other comedian that come on the stage, I'm going to ask you to be quiet. Because it ain't just going to be me. It ain't just going to be me because we're going to take turns. We're going to get up here in a row and we're going to talk about your glass. <laughs> huh? Because that's not what that's not what I do. I'm, I'm glad I'm glad that you know that I'm fat because I just told you I'm glad that you listened. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Man, he, he's like, quit your fat ass. I just explained that to you. Like, huh? Okay, so now now my weight, you know my weight now, you're a psychic. Psychic. <laughs> Continue, sir. Continue. What else? Are you going to take your hat back tomorrow? You still have the tag on. Sir. What, are what are you doing? What are you doing, sir? What are we doing? Excuse me, sir. Uh, you're right. You're right, sir. I can't. I can't fit a hat on. You're right. Anything else? Any, anything else, sir? We're going to work on you getting your GED tomorrow, sir. I, I love. I love. I love Memphis, man. I love Memphis because of niggas like this. I love Memphis because of niggas like this, man. I love. I, like, I love going to Bill Street. I love going to Bill Street to see a man try to holler at a woman, and it always is a nigga like this. We're going to pretend we're on Bill Street, and I'm this nigga. I'm trying to, what's the shot? What's the name, Shawty? I, I see you at Wet Willie God trying to holler at you and shit. You know, you fine as hell, Shawty. Can I get your number, Shawty? Say no. Oh, fuck that bitch. Oh, stupid ass ho. Brother, for real, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good, man. It's all good, man. This is what we do, man. This is what we do. Huh? Huh? Why does this nigga continue? Why does this nigga continue? Huh? Huh? For real? Well, who'd you just shoot, nigga? I'm gonna tell you something, man. Before before I get out of here, man. This nigga right now. <laughs> The other, the other day, the other day, I went up one of to my father's house, man, because my father had a stroke, so I go and watch TV with him sometimes. You know, so we watching TV and National Geographic comes on. You know, and my, and my father, uh, it was something about like the people in the Australia and shit. And my father went to Australia, so he's like, yeah, let's go ahead and watch this. So, you know how like the dudes they they start talking, yeah, cranky mate, we're gonna go down deep down under, and we're gonna see a tribe that we've never seen ever in life. They've never been filmed. Shh, be quiet. If we get too close, they're going to have to kill us. So I'm in ghost. I'm like, shit, I don't want to see if this nigga die. So I'm watching it, man. I'm watching it. So we get down. He's like, shh, come on. Shh. And all I see is like a group of aborigines. They dancing. I don't know what they're saying, but all I hear is, and dude is like, shh. Be quiet, we're gonna get you a little closer. So we can hear what they're saying. So I'm like, shit, let's go get let's get closer. Only hear they saying they get a little closer out here and dancing. Yay! 
Abanye, Abanye. And I looked at my dad, I was like, that sounds like my goddamn name. <laughs> I looked at him, he looked at me. I said, shit, what the fuck, Abanye? He looked at me and said, <laughs> my father told me that my name mean above all complete men. Dude on there is like, what did they say? Abanye. It's like it means the crops are dying. We need water. <laughs> I looked at my dad, I said, this is some bullshit. This is some bullshit, daddy. I love y'all, man, I love y'all, man. The laughter has made my penis hard. <laughs> Can I sing a song for you? That's all I got. Oh man, how many people like sex? You ready for me to go? How many people got children make some noise? There's a deficiency in whatever the hell just happened. I said, how many people like sex? Six people clap. I said, how many people got children? And everybody in this motherfucker clapped. <laughs> so y'all don't like sex, y'all was trying some shit out. <laughs> how many fellas there remember the first time you got a blowjob, make some noise? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. I remember that shit like it was yesterday, my first blowjob, I was 13 years old. Don't judge me, judge her, she didn't want to do the shit. <laughs> It was beautiful because the first thing she did, she kissed my penis. I'm like, oh my God, you just kissed my penis. And I have no idea why I was talking like that, but obviously that's the voice you make when you get your penis kissed. The next thing she did, she licked my penis. And after I woke up, she said the most profound shit I'd ever heard in my life, people. She talked to my penis. Have you ever had your penis talk to, sir? Have you ever had your penis talk to? You know you haven't, I'm the only one. She grabbed my penis one more time. Do you know what one of those she said, man? She grabbed it one more time. She kissed it one more time. I was like, oh. And she said to it, you is big, you is strong, you is important. <laughs> That's my time. My name is AC, man. Y'all have a wonderful night, man. Man, we can't see mouthpiece. What the fucking mouthpiece? Yeah, whatever is going on we with after it. it. We with it. But we want to see the piece first. Yeah, we want to see the mouthpiece first, then. We, we might just gonna leave. hang nah, out in the bathroom until it's time yeah. for the piece. We'll then that. we'll be back. Because we already know we're okay. going to land. <laughs> Oh, it's 
all in my back. Cause they know I'm moving that way. These viewers all in my face. Hope they stay up on my race. I said, I ain't going to go. Cut that, DJ. song out now. I'm telling y'all, y'all like this stuff. I'm telling y'all. DJ Play, go hit another one for me. I'm telling you, I gotta get a manager. Somebody gotta care about my well-being. I never know where I'm gonna end up. I never want I know a promoter called me last week. He said, Mal Peace, you free this weekend? I'm like, yeah. He said, can you do a show this weekend? I'm like, hell yeah. He said, little old nigga, you ready to make some money? I'm like, yeah. He said, the show in Frazier. I said, hold up. <laughs> Listen, y'all, I should have known there was something wrong with this location, the way the GPS talked to me. I'm telling you, she talked to me in a way she had never done before. She said, in 0 0.3 miles, make a left on Fraser Boulevard and be careful. I said, damn! <laughs> you are way above the speed limit, but don't slow down. I was like, okay. <laughs> You have arrived at your destination. Now unplug me and put me in your pocket. I said, all right. I didn't know she cared so much about me. <laughs> Ladies, how y'all doing? Y'all good? If you feeling good, make some noise then. If you looking good, make some noise. If you know you're looking pretty terrible tonight, let me hear you. Thank you. Cause I see you on my way in. I see you. I'm telling you, I got to stand. I, I got to stand at her. She got to stand at me. Start frowning and looking better. I said, "Ooh, what happened?" Then had the nerve to ask me what a bathroom is. She said, "Hey, mouthpiece, what a bathroom?" I said, "It's right there." She said, "That's the men's." I said, "Uh huh, I know." <laughs> I just joined me a church home Sunday, so y'all give it up for me. Cause I just joined, wait, y'all can stop. Y'all can quit already, cause I done stopped going. <laughs> I don't know the rules in the different people positions. I don't be understanding like the ladies that walk around with them white sheets. What you call them, the ladies with the white sheets? Us should go to your church. The, well no, the ladies with the white sheets. Oh, they ushers. See, I didn't know what the white sheets was for. I was like, hey, bring me one, I'm cold. <laughs> She said, no, baby, that ain't what this for. Them ladies with the white gloves, I didn't know what the white gloves was for. It's for grip. You ever try to get in the church doing prayer, they be holding that door closed so tight. <laughs> the white gloves for grip. I'm telling you, man, black church don't start on time just like this show did. For real, I went to a church Sunday. The door said service start at 1030 or 11. I said, what? <laughs> It was crazy. It was crazy. I don't know no gospel songs. So when it comes around to me, I start making up stuff, trying to make it work. I want to spread the news that if it feels this good getting used, oh, you just keep on using me, Jesus, uh, until you use me up. If I have, I know the gospel song, I still tear it up. If my brother, mother, and sister 
Get real drunk and pull out pistols. I will go, I will go by myself. Why do they hear like this? Hey, oh, oh, hey. Let me tell you what Pastor had the nerve to do. The pastor said, son, I want you to end service in prayer. I said, what? <laughs> he said, I want you to end service in prayer. I said, are you sure, Pastor? He said, yes. I said, I ain't done this in a while. He said, I know, son, but I have faith in you. This congregation has faith in you, and God has faith in you. <laughs> I said, are you sure? He said, I'm sure. I said, all right. <laughs> if you want me to end in prayer, I'm going to do my best. So everybody touch your neighbor, bow your head. Heavenly Father, I approach your throne in prayer. First of all, thank you for another day of life. Thank you for all the blessings you have poured out upon me. My mother told me, Lord, when I was young, that if I ever needed a friend, I have a friend in you. And at one time, things got so bad until I I had to go to one of my friends and talk to him. I said, no, I'm having problems with the woman in the I call her on the phone and I just can't get her to an answer. So I went to her house and I saw a car parked in the driveway. And I knocked on the door and still my knocks on an answer. So I went home and I watched television and I listened to my ruckus and my tele to television went off. And I cried myself to sleep and I found myself waking up a few hours later. And my friend, he said, you know, maybe you ought to just forget about it. I said, no, maybe you've never been in love like I've been in love. And maybe you've never felt the things that I felt. But you know what I told my friend? I said, you know what? You know, sometimes it gets lonely. It gets lonely. It gets lonely. Oh, 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 oh. And I cry. I cry. And then I met you, Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Y'all can follow me on Twitter, M-O-U-L-P-I-E-C-E-901. I'm giving a shout out to Paper Moon Comic, you know what I'm saying? One day, 1080 films, you understand me, photography. Uh, Y'all see what I do. And I appreciate your love and support. That was for BET now. So uh, hopefully we'll see what happens. I just got to be patient, stay humble, and keep doing my thing. As another Lexi Ambonis, these last four years been good to me. Couple of hours in the